This is my third time at AutoSense and it seems to be getting better every time I'm here. So happy to be in Belgium. Yes, Teledyne FLIR is the world's leader in automotive thermal cameras and thermal cameras in general. So thermal cameras are long wave infrared cameras as opposed to short wave infrared cameras, which has a couple of implications about uh, how they perform in the field. A long wave infrared camera is completely passive, so you don't have interference between competing cameras. Yeah, a couple of things we're showing here at Brussels this year. One is what you can pull out of thermal camera data with neural networks. We've got some demonstrations over here that really show that uh, with the power of neural networks, thermal cameras are some of the most powerful tools you can have in automotive. Also, we're showing a sneak preview of our new camera to some of our key customers, which is kind of a product leader in the marketplace for size, weight, and cost. Yeah, so what we're showing here is our Prism AI neural network running on thermal camera data live. We've got the camera pointed at the screen and the speakers, and you can see exactly how well thermal cameras can pick up people at range. So I'd say the stage is about 50 meters away, and you can see uh, the bounding boxes around the humans very well, particularly if you look at the speaker over here. This is an extremely challenging use case for automotive. Um, you have just his head. So it's a heavily occluded person, and that's a real challenge in automotive applications. For example, people darting into traffic from behind a car. If you can just see their head and identify that's a person, beware, that's a pretty amazing capability. A couple of bigger trends that we've seen in this show are uh, testing and validation is becoming more and more important for the folks here. Um, we're also seeing it to be more practical application, so a lot less startup stuff. Um, for some reason, the LiDAR folks aren't showing up this year as much, but that's fine because we're seeing a lot more thermal in its place, and that makes me happy. The other thing we're seeing is a greater focus on safety. Things like the European uh, Union's Vision Zero and what's going on at NHTSA in the United States with their new proposed rulemaking where they're uh, mandating pedestrian AEB, I think is bringing out a lot of interesting discussion about uh, safety. Um, safety is kind of one of our key selling points. There's no technology in the field better than a thermal camera that can see a living creature, human, animal, whatever. So. Uh, as it becomes more challenging uh, to meet the mandates of, of uh, the regula regulatory agencies, thermal cameras are a key tool that uh, automakers can use to achieve reduced fatalities. Hopefully it's Vision Zero.